Good morning. Today we are starting off our day with quiet weather. It is so quiet, in fact, that we've had some frost form in some areas. So just be aware you might need some time to get that frost cleared off your windshield this morning. Otherwise, looking down on University and I-94, the interchange here is looking really good as traffic picks up uh, to start off our day today. So we're giving you the green light this morning and into your evening commute for travel here. As we make our way through the day, we'll get to, of course, see that sun uh, begin to shine and we'll just have some beautiful full weather for late October. Just some nice conditions, so not too much to worry about as far as a uh, travel is concerned this morning. Just maybe a quick scrape this morning. Let's take a full screen view of our graphics here. You can see that we've got temperatures that are into the low to mid 30s across much of the valley. The exception Sisseton a little warmer at 40, but a lot of spots have dipped down toward the freezing range. Grand Forks, Fargo at 34. We could be seeing some frost at those numbers. Wapiton is at freezing. So is Fergus Falls at 32. We're down to 30 in Oaks and 27 in Harvey. So some cool temperatures this morning to greet us. Wind is on that light side out of the west 5 to 15 miles per hour. It is enough. We just talked a little bit ago about our wind chills being a little bit lower, so you're going to want to dress for that cold this morning and just beautiful conditions, clear skies, clouds well to the west of us right now. We may see more increase through the day, but overall we're looking at a beautiful fall day. So let's take a look at that. Moving on into the mid morning, we'll see temperatures start to turn around. Once that sun is up at 8 a.m., we'll see those numbers climb back into the 40s to around 50 degrees at lunch hour. Uh, still a little cold at that point. Moving on into the evening hours and uh, more of us getting into the upper 50s. So looking at that going to be more likely in the south. If you're in the north, this is an area where we may top off in the upper 40s for highs today. Wind will be out of the west or northwest and it does pick up a little bit. We'll see some gusts into the 20s heading into this afternoon, continuing on into this evening. Once that sun sets, which happens in the six o'clock hour now, we'll see temperatures really start to dip pretty quickly. So we'll be getting down into the 40s and eventually some 30s coming up for us for later tonight. This is 10 p.m. Uh, you can see we're already in the 30s at that point. So if you are concerned about any of your plants that are still going here, we want to make sure we're doing uh, some things to protect them overnight tonight as well with temperatures getting down into the 20s to some low 30s to start off our Saturday morning. After that, that's when we see that temperature turn around. And if you have plans to be out and about this evening, maybe heading out to a Friday night football game, you're going to want the layers. We still have some good weather, so the call on the field is holding on to decent weather, but temperatures are going to be cool. Even though we'll be nice and dry, we'll definitely want to have that sweatshirt and maybe a jacket on top of that just to stay warm if you're sitting out in the stands here for tonight. Overall looking pretty good, and we'll have your weekend planner coming up in just 30 seconds. Until then, your forecast is sponsored by Innovative Baseball authority. It just keeps getting worse. These are telltale signs that water is shifting your foundation. But it's okay. We got it. Oh, this is done growing in this house. Okay. Cracking drywall is just one sign your foundation is compromised, but you can. Put water back in its place with a free inspection from Innovative Basement Authority. For a limited time, get $500 off any repairs when you call or go online today. Good morning again, warming things up a little today. Tomorrow morning is going to be the chilliest of the two. And then after that, we're warming up, getting back into some 50s to near 60 on Saturday. Sunday, the wind kicks in. We start to warm into some 60s. And of course, you might be focusing in on Monday because that's going to be a very warm day. Some low 70s, breezy as well. That's leading up to our next system. Moving into Tuesday and into Wednesday, we have the potential for some rain and wind associated with that too. We see that move on, it looks like right now, and that means that our Halloween will be on that drier side. And then moving into that first and second day of November, we see another system move through. So I think we may just be able to sneak Halloween in on the dry side coming up for next week. Uh, temperatures, not bad into the low 50s for highs that day and a little cooler, of course, at trick or treat time. Yeah, as long as it's dry, though, that's kind of a nice way to celebrate. Yeah, I think that.